Hello! So I have done a lot of videos recently on safety when you're a streamer, when you're online, when you're on Twitch, becoming more confident and managing to help conversations flow when you're streaming, stopping that dead air and a few other, you know, little bits and pieces. If you want to go check those videos out, feel free to. I've popped them in a playlist. But today I thought I would do more of kind of a behind the scenes, kind of like a tutorial on how I make some of the assets for my stream. I make pretty much everything that happens on my stream. I love it. And although, yes, it's time consuming and yes, I I could get someone else to do them. I come from a game design background and it's just one of my things that I enjoy so, so, so much. I love being able to make things, whether it is overlays or alerts or anything. I love trying to be creative. And yeah, if you've ever watched my stream, you've seen I've done uh, quite a few random things recently. Here's a couple of them. We got 15 seconds. They're still going for it, Kieran. Now I don't think they're gonna be able to score. Record. That was a game, wasn't it? Let's, let's break that down, Kieran. Kieran, as the name strategy expert, Tell me what we just saw. Which means we have the absolute pleasure of reliving this performance. Let's go! So the first person I need to give a date to is my mum, which makes me a little bit um, nervous, but that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. And in a couple of days, I have my five year celebration on Twitch. And last night, I was trying to think what I can do. I've already, I've already made a couple of the assets. This video actually goes out the day before my five year party. So I don't want to show you everything, but I am going to make a few of the alerts for you guys today. Also, don't forget to come and, you know, celebrate with me on Twitch tomorrow. Twitch.tv slash night and Asia. I'm also going to pop the link down below. So don't panic too much, but I will preface this by saying I'm pretty good with design software. I'm terrible with video editing software. You've probably noticed from my previous videos, but my plan for today, you know what? Let me read this off my phone because you know when you get late night thoughts in bed? I had some of those. Last night I, I was thinking while I was laying in bed, I was like, you know what I need? I need to celebrate five years on Twitch by celebrating some of the most iconic songs and memes on Twitch but also put my face over them. Yeah. So, you know, the Kappa song, Giddy Up. Some of you guys may not know these, but some of you will. Amano, Amano, all of those, right? In my head, I was like, yes, this is genius. I'll get Giddy Up and I'll put my face over the horse. It'll be great. It'll be amazing. <sighs> I have no idea how this is gonna go. This is pretty much what happens though. I end up having some sort of idea at the start of the day and then I start creating and about six or seven hours later, I have something pretty cool by the end of it. It may have been what I intended. It may be something entirely different, but we will make something. So uh, let's, <laughs> let's do it. And now you get the pleasure of listening to voiceover Nightinator. This is basically like watching Bob Ross, but uh, just without any of the talent. I am currently cutting out pictures of my own face using Affinity Designer, which uh, is currently on a free trial if you want to try that. It's really, really good. You can also use something like GIMP, which is entirely free. I say this as if you're going to be following this at home. I don't know why you would, but I'll let you into my process regardless. It is purely a case of just cutting out my face. Some of them have got fluffy, feathery outlines. Some of them are harsher lines. I'm giving myself a variety because obviously I'm going to be editing many videos and some of them may work better with, you know, fluffier outlines and some of them a little bit, you know, harsher edges. So anyway, I'm currently getting the sexiest pictures of my own face and, um, you know, the real, the real money shots. And I'm gonna edit them onto the videos. I'm using Shotcut, which is a free video editing software. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very basic, but it does the job. It is what I edit all my videos in. I've tried different softwares over time, but honestly, this one just crashes the least. I, I've, I've even had paid versions, but yeah, uh, anyway. Um, I'm editing my face over the capper. Uh, over the Kappa remote, which I'm not gonna lie to you, it's nightmare fuel, I'm so sorry. But it's then a case of um, using different, very, very simple video editing techniques on all of these little clips, just to make it as ridiculous and comedic as possible, setting the timing to, uh, you know, for everything to appear. All of these videos that I'm making are gonna be about 10 to 20 seconds long. They're longer than I would normally make alerts. Normally I'd make alerts you know, anywhere up to eight or nine seconds, but because these are special occasion alerts, I feel like you can kind of have them a little bit longer, make them more of a spectacle. And now, Darude. We all know Sandstorm and, uh, you know, this is Newt Storm. This is, yeah, this is, 
feel more nightmare fuel. Ignore back, ignore me texting, uh, so unprofessional. This did span over quite a long period during the day. You guys don't get to see all the clips of me editing every single video during this, but I think it's probably about five or six hours in total just editing these clips. And uh, what you can see here is me individually changing all the keyframes for this. So as the video moves and the people in the video move, the faces on top also move along with it. If you use premium software, this you'll probably know far easier ways to do this, but with a, with a cheap version, you know, with Shotcut, which is free, you have to kind of make do. And now on to the crab rave. So this I originally was going to edit every single crab in the video, which is thousands, I was going to edit the faces on, but I quickly realized my computer and software would probably burst into flames if I tried to do that because uh, with pretty much any video editing software, the more layers that you add on quickly struggles. So um, yeah, I didn't want crashing. I didn't want any of this. So I uh, I went for a little bit of a lazy approach and I just I just repeated the same the same dance over and over again. Yeah, I know it's lazy, but it works, and it means I still have a computer at the end of this. So success. Just adding on the finishing touches just to make sure everything times up nicely and the dance all goes together. And in terms of the sound files, I have been adding in uh, special effects such as a little uh, whoosh, you know, sound effects um, to the start or the end just to make it sound more like an impact. So when we get that notification, it doesn't sound like I've just put a song on in the background. It doesn't sound like I've just switched the song to Crab Rave, but instead, you can tell it's an alert because there's a bit more emphasis. I'm then popping these onto stream elements and setting them up so they are ready to go, changing the duration so it plays the entire alert. And that is pretty much everything. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for today because I need to keep some things a secret. The big stream is tomorrow and you know, I don't wanna give everything away. Over the past five years, I've made so many different types of alerts. I've done really sleek ones, really minimalistic ones, uh, ones that have been RuneScape themed, ones that haven't, all kinds of things, so many different things. But this is something I've never done before and I'm always, I always like challenging myself to do new, different, innovative things. And hopefully this also shows you what you do on Twitch does not have to be clean and pristine and super professional. Lots of people just like to have a laugh and see memes. As long as it looks like you've put the effort in, it truly doesn't matter. I know so many people that have turnkey overlays and turnkey alerts, meaning that they've gone and bought them from a mass production website, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. However, they all look the same, you know, and even though they look really professional, people kind of get used to that. So if you have something that's a little bit different, even if it is a little bit cheesy and a little bit, a little bit ridiculous, sometimes that can appeal more than something that's super preened and preened and pristine. I don't know why I just chose to say preened and pristine, but you get the drift. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to do a video every single week relating to something to do with streaming and all of that jazz. I've done some previous videos, which will be linked down below and also in a playlist. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. I've put a uh, link down below to my setup. So if you want to know what I use or you want to see a suggested budget setup, that is also down below. And as well as that, you can come and catch me on twitch.tv slash nightinator. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, on pretty much everything so feel free to come and check me out on those a massive thank you to anyone who has come from youtube and said hello to me on twitch it makes my day it makes me really happy that you guys are enjoying these videos that is enough from me and i will see you in the next one adios guys